we always hear about how Facebook is one of the best social media sites for gen generating traffic but Twitter is also a very powerful social media site that you can use for traffic purposes if done right and unfortunately there's not too many courses out there on it but there are people that are using Twitter uh, to generate lots of traffic to their sites and hopefully this course will lead you in the right direction In order for your tweets to be seen, you have to have followers. So it's pretty obvious that the more followers you have, uh, the more exposure that your tweets will get. So it's very important uh, to get as many followers as you can so that you'll get more exposure. So on, on this account here, I have uh, several Twitter accounts. This one I have uh, 6,500 and 84 followers and as you can see I'm also following uh, around 50 5800 uh, people on Twitter so basically the trick is um, to to follow as many people as you can uh, people that are in your niche the people that are interested in what you are um, selling or marketing follow as many people as you can and because what happens is a lot of people that you follow uh, will follow you back okay um, so that's, a, that's a, the key here. You could do a search on Twitter uh, for people that are interested in the topic that you are uh, marketing in. Uh, and that one tool that you could use is Tweepy. Um, this will make it a lot easier uh, to follow people. And I believe you can also automatically follow people if you have a paid account with them. I'm not sure about that because I don't use Tweepy, but I, I have heard of other tw uh, Twitter marketers using this tool. So this is uh, one that you may want, want to look into. Um, you know, the other option for you is just, just to do it manually, uh, just to follow as many people as you can in your Twitter account. The problem with Twitter is that there are so many people tweeting that your tweets may get lost in all the other hundreds or thousands of tweets there are per day. I don't know how many tweets there are per day, but uh, the problem is, is you know, when if you are following hundreds or thousands of people, if Mr. Joe Smith sends out a tweet, it's possible that you may not even see his tweet because his tweet will be get buried down um, along the list of tweets because whenever someone tweets, uh, the newest tweet shows up at the top of your Twitter account okay and with each new tweet that other tweet uh, will just be brought down to the bottom of the page so you're, you may not see everybody's tweets and your tweets may not be seen uh, by most people so one way around this is to repeat your tweets you may want to do that same tweet a couple days later at a different time uh, you could do it a following week. Uh, another thing you could do too is to reword it. Um, so maybe it could grab more attention or people don't think that it's the same tweet. Um, you could highlight a benefit in that tweet if you're tweeting towards uh, an article that you wrote or an affiliate product. Um, you could also add an image to, to make it appear as if it's a different tweet. But basically the key here is is to repeat your tweets. So it, just to make sure that people are seeing your tweets. According to some sources, tweets that have hashtags get two times more engagement than those without hashtags. And if you get more engagement, you'll get more visibility and you'll get more clicks on the links in your tweets. So remember to use hashtags. Now, if you're not familiar with hashtags or you don't know what, what they are, Let's just look at some examples here. I'm just going to scroll down this Twitter account, look for some tweets that have hashtags. So here's one that has a hashtag, uh, SEO Horror Stories. And as you can see, there's a hashtag in front of there. And basically, people that are searching for that type of content are more likely uh, to find your tweets if you put a hashtag in front of the subject. 
Now, a good place to find popular hashtags is at uh, hashtags.org. And here you can find uh, what the popular hashtags are, and um, you can get some ideas on what you could use for your tweets. It's very important to include call to action in your tweets. For example, you could ask your followers to retweet, you could ask your followers to favorite it, or you could just simply ask people to click on the link in your tweets. Now, I do highly recommend you ask people to retweet because when that when people do that, uh, you'll get more exposure. Okay, because now it's not just your followers that are going to see your tweet. It's also going to be the followers of the person or the people that retweeted your tweet. All right, so let's just do uh, a couple of examples here. I'm just going to type down a tweet message here. And here's a very simple one. If you're in a health niche, weight loss niche, uh, you can say something like, if you want to lose weight this summer, retweet. I will try my best to help you out. Okay. Another one, if you want to get more creative, let's just say you're in um, the sports niche, particularly, say, the basketball niche. Okay. And let's say it is the playoffs. Cavs are playing the Clippers. You could say, who do you think? is going to win tonight. RT for Cavs, favorites for Clippers. Okay, and RT means uh, retweet. And what you could also do is you could also add an image to this tweet to get more attention. All right, now a faster way to get results on Twitter. Uh, this is for those of you who do not have that many followers yet or you just do not want to spend the time and effort working to get followers in your account. What you could do is you could just pay Twitter to promote your tweets. So you would do a regular tweet and then you could pay Twitter to promote that tweet and what will happen is uh, people will see your tweet even though they are not following you okay and this is actually uh, very affordable it's not that expensive and you could target the right demographic by focusing on keywords interests geography and devices that match your audience Okay, so let's just take a look at a, a promoted tweet here, and they look just like regular tweets. So let's just scroll down this account. Okay, so this is a promoted tweet. Um, the way to know if it's a promoted tweet is if it says promoted below the tweet. Okay, so this is just a tweet and they've included included an image here you can see that people have been retweeting this and people have favorited this tweet so maybe we can just go down a little further let's just look for one more example okay so it says promoted so here is another tweet Twitter also has an analytics platform so you could monitor the success of your advertising campaigns. And what I recommend you do actually is to split your budget 50-50 between users on mobile devices and desktop uh, so you could figure out which is more effective for you, what's working for you, and so you know where to invest your funds in the long run for your advertising campaigns.